We seek beauty in many forms, including art and architecture, water views and mountain vistas, history and culture, and some places make it easy to do so. This collection of breathtakingly lovely locations spans the globe, featuring cities and villages that captivate us with their futuristic skylines, tree-lined canals, and colorful old buildings, among many other things. As we all have particular likes, ranking cities and what they offer may appear to be an impossible task. Some cities, however, are so stunningly lovely that they should be on everyone's bucket list. These are our top 10 cities on the planet. Welcome to Plain and Simple, your one-stop destination for all things travel and stay. The globe is full of magnificent cities. You may spend a lifetime visiting the world's greatest cities and still not see all of them. When it comes to international cities, though, not all are created equal. The world has a top tier of urban environments that set the standard for the rest of the world. The best cities to visit often have some of the world's most recognizable landmarks and may be found all over the world, from Asia and Europe to the Middle East and the Americas. Here's a list of some of the best cities in the world to visit for visitors looking for inspiration for their next vacation. Forested national parks, lovely beach villages, and lonely country roads all have their appeals. But there's something especially enchanting and motivating about a gorgeous and vibrant city when it comes to global travel. These cities are must-adds to your travel bucket list since they provide numerous cultural excursions of the historical, culinary, and entertainment sorts as well as breathtaking sights and skylines. The list of breathtaking cities is endless, and it's impossible to capture their spirit in just one image. But we went ahead and highlighted 10 of the world's most beautiful cities to give you a starting point as you plan your globe-trotting tour, or just to satisfy your one of us virtually, for now. You're in for a fairy tale experience, so let's get started. Starting off on the 10th best city to satisfy your one of us, number 10, Prague, Czech Republic. Prague is known as the City of a Thousand Spheres. You can obviously see a large number of spheres, but there's so much more to discover. The list of places to visit is endless, ranging from historical landmarks and soaring medieval towers to dome churches. Prague is without a doubt an architectural masterpiece and the most beautiful city on the planet. The magnificent sights and sensations of the city will make you want to return. Prague Castle, Charles Bridge, Vltava River, St. Vitus Cathedral, Prague Zoo, the National Museum, and Old Town Square are among the most popular attractions. While summer is the most popular time to visit the city, the weather can be oppressive and uncomfortable. Why are spring and fall the ideal times to visit Prague? Because of the pleasant weather, clean skies, and fewer people. Prague, a thriving and vibrant city, now attracts more tourists than ever before. However, its gorgeous center conceals a sad heritage as well as a resilient past. Prague has survived multiple overthrows, invasions, fires, and floods since around AD 870. The Czech capital's fascination stems from its reputation for survival and perseverance. Its historic churches, tiny lanes, intimidating hilltop castle, and statue-lined bridges now provide the stage for an urban fairy tale. Number nine, Paris, France. Why go to Paris? Why not Paris, you could ask? Paris has an unrivaled, wonderful atmosphere. Tourists come from all over to see the city's iconic architectural marvels, historic palaces, cathedrals, museums, and galleries. That isn't everything. A visit to Paris would be incomplete without a stroll to the charming cobblestone alleys and expansive manicured gardens. This is also a safe sanctuary for consumers. And, of course, one of the main attractions is the cuisine. With so much to see and do, it is the most popular and romantic location. Will you agree that Paris is one of the most famous and attractive cities in the world? The world-famous Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, Musée du Louvre, Palais Garnier, Opera National de Paris, Seine River Cruises, and Luxembourg Gardens are among the most popular attractions. Number eight, San Francisco, USA. The delicate combination of arts, history, entertainment, and nature is what makes San Francisco one of the top 10 most beautiful cities in the world. From cable cars and bridges to parks and beaches, the city of slopes has plenty to offer. San Francisco, regarded as the jewel of Northern California, will undoubtedly entice you with its beauty and culture. The Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island, Fisherman's Rafe, Chinatown, the California Palace of the League of Honor, 
and the Palace of Fine Art all popular tourist attractions. The best time to go, because of the good weather and lower crowds, the autumn season, between September and November, is the greatest time to come. San Francisco, a jumbled kaleidoscope of vibrant districts and breathtaking views, attracts the free-spirited types with an eye for edgy art, a taste for inventive cuisine, and a thirst for adventure. It's hardly unexpected that Tony Bennett left his heart here. The city has jaw-dropping scenery, world-class cuisine, quiet cafes, and a thriving nightlife scene. There's no shortage of things to do here. Spend an hour or two tanning among sea lions on the bay, taking in the city vistas from Twin Peaks, or wandering around the marina. And for the ultimate San Francisco experience, take a cable car ride or a boat excursion beneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Number seven, Rome, Italy. Rome is a slice of heaven on earth. It is a city rich in art, old architecture, and stunning interior design. Rome, one of the most beautiful cities in the world, should be on everyone's bucket list. While the city is recognized as an art lover's heaven, Rome has something to offer practically everyone. Hiking on the highest slopes of Janiculum or seeing the city from the Bizarre Venezia are both options. The Colosseum, St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican City, the Basilica of St. John Lateran, the Spanish Steps, and the Pantheon are all popular tourist destinations, although it has been centuries since this magnificent jumble of ancient and Renaissance structures ruled the world. Rome continues to enchant in a manner that few other cities can. A word of caution, try not to visit too many historical buildings or churches in a row as you explore Rome. Intersperse these more serious attractions with a few that are merely tourist icons, such as the Spanish Steps and the Trevi Fountain, where all tourists must go to toss their scents. Because Rome is so large, even the most ardent tourists should take some time to relax and enjoy La Dos Vita at a park or sidewalk cafe. This charming city is best visited between April and June, or September and October. Just a reminder that the peak season runs from June to September, with prices rising. Number 6. Udaipur, India Udaipur, often known as the Venice of the East, or the City of Lakes, is a wonderful place not to be missed. The delicate combination of history, nature, arts, and dynamic culture is what makes Udaipur one of the top 10 most beautiful cities in the world. The city is the ideal place to obtain an incredible insight into India's royal past. Udaipur offers visitors numerous opportunities to marvel at the majestic architecture, observe the tranquil natural beauty, and buy at the bustling bazaars. The Udaipur City Palace, Lake Palace, Jagdish Temple, Fatih Sagna Lake, Lake Pakola, Rasaman Lake, and Vintage Car Museum are all popular attractions. Between September and March is the perfect time to visit this captivating city. Why? Because the temperature remains pleasant and comfortable during this time. Several yearly festivals and fairs are held in the city throughout the year, including during the winter. Udaipur, located in the southernmost section of Rajasthan, is encircled by the Areli Range and is rich in natural beauty. It was founded in 1559 as the embryonic capital of the Marwar Kingdom by Uday Singh II. Udaipur is well connected to other parts of India by air, rail, and road. Number 5. Amsterdam, Netherlands If you want to visit a cultural center, Amsterdam is where to go. It is called the Netherlands' leading cultural center, as you will witness numerous well-preserved historic mansions, renowned museums, entertainment venues, and theaters when you visit this location. The list does not stop there. The amount of canals in Amsterdam is staggering. As a result, it is justifiably known as the Venice of the North and one of the most popular and attractive cities globally. Popular attractions are the Rijksmuseum, Anne Frank House, Van Gogh Museum, Jordaan, Van der Park, Royal Palace of Amsterdam, and Rembrandt House Museum. Amsterdam is the world-famous capital of the Netherlands and one of Europe's most famous tourist destinations. The city is well known for its history, its intricate canal system, and the architecture of its characteristic tiny buildings. Amsterdam has much more to offer than cheap thrills. You can explore the old center, red light, dam square, and museum areas by walking or biking the sidewalks. If you want to visit Amsterdam, the months of April and May, or September and November, are ideal. The temperature is pleasant and comfortable during these months. Amsterdam boasts excellent public transit with bicycles, metros, buses, ferries, and trains available to assist you in getting around the city and beyond. Getting around Amsterdam is also incredibly inexpensive, costing only a euro to every ride, giving you plenty of possibilities. Amsterdam has a few wonderful neighborhoods to stay in 
while visiting, and there are plenty of hotel alternatives for all budgets. If you're a first-time traveler, the Centrum, or City Center, is a terrific area to stay. Jordan is the city's most affluent area, with world-class hotels and restaurants. It also houses the Anne Frank Museum. Number four, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. When we think of Brazil, we think of its vibrant cultural life and carnivals. Rio de Janeiro has both and much more to offer. Rio de Janeiro, nestled between magnificent mountains and the powerful sea, is one of Brazil's most popular tourist destinations. The city will captivate you with its unique natural beauty, world-renowned beaches, and colossal statues. It's one of the top 10 most beautiful cities due to its iconic sights and amazing beauties. The Cristo Redentor, Sugarloaf, Copacabana Palace, I Panama, Tahuca National Park, Museum of Modern Art, and Rio's Jardim Botanico are all popular tourist destinations. The greatest time to visit Rio is between December and March, when the weather is still mild enough to enjoy the beaches. February is the best month if you want to go to the carnival. Rio de Janeiro is a city of contrast. It boasts a world-famous Christ the Redeemer statue, but it also has some of Brazil's worst slums. Rio Carnival and the Rio International Film Festival are two important international events held each year. Still, it is also one of the most dangerous cities in Latin America. Yes, visiting Rio de Janeiro for the first time might be intimidating. This is especially true if you've never been to Brazil and don't speak the language. Number three. Barcelona. Barcelona will amaze you with its beautiful blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. Barcelona awaits you with breathtaking scenery, stunning architecture, outdoor activities, and cultural attractions. If you visit this city once, you will undoubtedly agree that it is one of the top 10 most beautiful cities globally. Gothic quarters, Casa Mila, La Rambla, and Park Goulet are all popular tourist attractions. Because of the lower crowds and beautiful weather, the best months to visit Barcelona are March, May, and mid-September to October. Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia, prides itself on being one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Many individuals from all over the world enjoy the city's cosmopolitan and multinational ambiance. The city is particularly well known for its architecture and art, with visitors from all over the world flocking to see God's fame Sagrada Familia Church and other modernist buildings. Barcelona is a fantastic city, but like any large city, you must use common sense and adhere to fundamental travel safety precautions. Pickpocketing and bag snatching are widespread problems, so keep your belongings secure, blend in, and avoid looking like a tourist. Number two, Cape Town, South Africa. If you want to spend your vacation among magnificent beaches, towering mountains, and an abundance of natural bounty, Cape Town, South Africa is the place to be. You will have numerous opportunities to enjoy the beautiful outdoors. The city is also peppered with the most trendy pubs, restaurants, and wineries, making a popular vacation destination for tourists worldwide. Table Mountain, the Christian Bosch Botanical Gardens, Signal Hill, the Cliftons, and Camp Bay Beaches, and the Victoria and Alfred Waterfront are all popular attractions. While April to early June is good for hiking, the months of December to February are ideal for a beach vacation in Cape Town. The seaside city features breathtaking natural vistas, delectable and diverse cuisines, and many activities for people of all ages. It is also a cosmopolitan city with a rich history, cafe culture, and vibrant nightlife. Cape Town is a vibrant, energetic city. As a result, there are numerous neighborhoods to discover. Most hotels and lodging options are concentrated along the beaches or the VNA waterfront. My favorite Cape Town neighborhood are Sea Point, Green Point, and Capes Bay and we'd recommend staying there if you're here for the first time. And coming down to our final and most awaited number one city for the globe trotters who love to visit the cities of the world. Number one, Auckland, New Zealand. According to its Maori name, Tameki Makovu, Auckland is a city of many lovers. It's difficult to think of a more geographically gifted city. Its two harbors form a narrow isthmus bordered by fertile farmland and interrupted by volcanic cones. You'll be astonished by how close the Tasman Sea and Pacific Ocean come to kissing and producing a new island from their countless vantage spots. The water is never far away, whereas the ruggedly stunning West Coast surf beaches or the shimming Hariki Gulf with its numerous islands. There are lush areas of rainforest, hot springs, wineries, and wildlife reserves within an hour's drive of the city's high-rise center. It's no surprise that Auckland is ranked as one of the world's best cities for quality of life and livability. The City of Sales is New Zealand's most populous and cosmopolitan urban area. 
Auckland flawlessly merges breathtaking landscapes with the hustle and bustle of city life. With towering buildings, volcanic islands, and picturesque beaches, a zipline on Waikiki Island, and bungee leaping from the Sky Tower for thrill seekers, local rugby and cricket unions, and the National All Blacks Rugby Squad will appeal to sports fans. Foodies will love Auckland's diverse dining scene, including formal pubs and celebrity chef-owned fine dining restaurants. For cultural buffs, the city offers a blend of Maori, European, and Asian influences with attractions such as the Auckland War Memorial Museum and the Auckland Art Gallery. That's all for this top 10 list of the most beautiful cities you must visit. Make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Still sitting back on the couch? Pack your bags, book your tickets, and grab that flight to your dream destination as we accompany you with all the details you will need on your dream trip. Until we catch you next time with yet another thrilling and travel-thirsty content that wows you, this is your own plain and simple. Ciao.